If children should have a goal in life, it is to honor their parents. Not letting them down when they have given so much is important to most of us. And sometimes, a small detail from the past resurfaces and puts things into perspective. While a painful truth resurfaces, the day Joel Smith watched his parents' wedding video, he realized how much happiness was what he should be striving for. Seeing his young and happy parents, who managed to start a family, gave him a lot of hope for the rest of his life. But while watching the video, he saw a detail that took his breath away. Joel's parents were named Joe and Beverly. High school sweethearts? They complimented each other well since he was an athlete and she was a cheerleader. If school romances rarely last, this one had something special. A year into the relationship, he proposed to her and she accepted. On the occasion of the engagement, Joe wanted to mark the occasion and what he offered her would remain etched in stone. It wasn't until decades later that a detail their son recognized in their wedding video would shed light on their very special story. During this period, marriage did not have to wait long. Joe and Beverly agreed in 1953. When they were 19, they chose to live in upstate New York. There they start a family, and their friends took the pictures on the wedding day. It was an unforgettable wedding, but no one knew that this seemingly ordinary wedding would end so unexpectedly. It has been three years that the United States has been involved in the Korean War. Although Joe and Beverly were unaffected by this conflict, little did they know that this war was going to destroy their first year of marriage and how it would affect their lives later. Joe, a newly married man, was called to serve in the United States Army. He tried to hold on for as long as he could, but when Joe and Beverly start planning their lives together, Joe becomes a young soldier who sacrifices everything to serve his country and go to war. It is the beginning of a terrible sacrifice for the couple and will have disastrous consequences in the future. Joe didn't know exactly what the army had planned for him. Will he be sent to fight with weapons or is he going to serve another purpose? What is certain is that he will go to Korea. Heartbroken, Joe and Beverly had to get ready before he left. In Joe's indefinite absence, the couple had to sell some of their possessions to make ends meet. Without Joe's input, life would not be easy for the young woman who had no idea how much this war would accompany her throughout her life. Thanks to the media of the time, Joe was able to keep in touch with his wife. Regularly, they sent letters and pictures to give each other news as much as possible. Deeply worried, Beverly had only one question on her mind. Will Joe come back alive from this war? And if so, in what condition? and especially when. The young woman could no longer count the days since her man left to fight an enemy she did not know. Finally, after many months, Joe returned home. Safe and sound, he became an American hero, doing his duty as a patriot. Once he did, he could resume his life and pick up where he left off with Beverly. And one of their plans came true. Beverly got pregnant, and not just once. From a very young age, the children heard their father's war stories but the parents also liked to tell them what life was like before they were separated by this murderous madness. Over the years, the children became parents and the parents became grandparents. Joe and Beverly fulfilled their dream of starting a family to pass on their legacy. And that year, the couple celebrated 60 years of marriage, a step that really should have been celebrated. Thus, the whole family gathered around the old couple to celebrate their love around good food. The good mood was there, until a real surprise surprised everyone. A friend of theirs brought a priceless gift with him, a video of their wedding, 60 years earlier. No one expected this. Faced with the pictures of this special day that he walked, Joel paused on something he had heard about since childhood. It was a property that his parents had owned in the early years of their marriage and to which they were very attached. Joel noticed that his parents left the church in a red 1948 Plymouth convertible, a superb model that made the young couple proud and was so special to them. But why? As far as he can remember, Joel's earliest memories were not of his own, but of his parents. He had always heard about this red car that meant so much to them, like the beginning of something of a new life. 60 years ago, this type of car was not uncommon, but driving one was a sign of success. The couple were so proud of their purchase that they drove the entire time with the top open not realizing they were being lied to. But an even more chilling chill sees them, that of Joe's call to arms. 
In order not to run out of money during his absence, the couple had to sell the convertible roof, which they had such a hard time affording. This was the double punishment for the couple, the departure of Joe and the forced sale of their awning, a symbol of their freedom. In their wedding video, as their son Joel observed, this car held a very special place. She was so important to the couple that she actually seemed like part of their family. Joel, who had only heard of this sunroof, but had never seen it. In front of the film, he looked at his parents admiring this car from the past. For a moment, a crazy idea came to his mind, and he couldn't stop his excitement. Ever since, Joel wanted to offer something to his parents to thank them for what they'd brought him in life. Watching their wedding video, he realized he had finally found the perfect gift, a red 1948 Plymouth. Joel's goal was very simple, to make his parents as happy as they were when they bought this car 60 years ago. But how will he find the same model as his parents? This task is not going to be easy. His research finally paid off. After long hours of searching online classified sites, Joel finally found a car that matched his parents. The great news is that the owner claimed it was in excellent condition and had been waiting quietly in the garage for years. The ad posted on Craigslist explained that the red Plymouth Cabriolet had never been driven the winter, highlighting its excellent condition and low mileage. But there was one big problem. The message was posted by an old owner who was not familiar with the technological possibilities. Therefore, the proposal only mentioned the description of the awning but did not show any pictures. The 81-year-old seller did not know how to add photos. Optimistic, Joel decided he had to go there to try it out. So he sent one of his friends to the state of Indiana to check if the car matched his parents' car. He didn't know yet what his friend would find. Once there, Joel's friend erased his doubts with the back of his hand. The car matched, Joel secured the sale and sent the money to the seller. When he arrived in New York, Donnie hit the car and took the opportunity to take care of it, wipe it down and check that everything is in order. He planned to ask his grandparents for something they would have to have, and it would suit Joel very well. So Colby came to their house and offered to leave for a few days for a weekend of fishing. The purpose of this cover-up was to sink the fish in Joe, and Beverly never suspected for a moment that a real surprise was on the way. His son Colby arrived with a hidden camera to film the moment his grandparents discovered the car in front of their house. He started preparing the fishing gear with his grandfather while waiting for the car to arrive. During his time there, Joel drove to Plymouth to his parents' house, the same car they cherished so much 60 years before. Just parked in front of their house, he was far from imagining his parents' reaction to this beautiful gift. As soon as Colby saw his father arrive in the car, he pulled out his camera to capture Joe and Beverly's reaction. Only a few minutes remained until his grandparents discovered the surprise their son had prepared for them. Naive, the grandparents did not realize that Colby had installed the camera and was filming them. Then he told them he had to go outside to see something. The gift was about to be revealed and the family was about to experience a very emotional moment. Seeing their grandson come out, Joe and Beverly look out the window and couldn't help but see the red car parked in front of their house. It was like going back in time, but it was all very real and in the present. They went out to see her up close. Shocked, the old couple approached the red car, which of course brought back many memories. They couldn't believe their eyes. It was a priceless gift for them.